Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the EuroEV 16-in-1 Pro Charger. This small charger would enable you to charge 5 1S type of batteries simultaneously and in this review I'm going to go over its features. Inside this small box along with the charger you get in the user manual and in case you wonder what the 16-in-1 stands for, it stands for 5 batteries and 1 USB port. On the center of the charger you can find a 1.8 inch LCD screen. Next to it, three navigation buttons, and on the sides, five ports that will enable you to charge five 1S type of batteries simultaneously. On each port, you can find an MCX, MCPX, Molex, and JST connectors. Over here, you can find an XT60 connector, and the walk-in voltage is between 6 to 20 volts. And over here, you can find a USB 5 volts output, and shortly, I'm going to measure its maximum current. After plugging in a battery, the charger will turn on, so there is no on and off switch. On the main screen, you can see the status of each connected battery, and right now it shows 4.35 volts because no battery is connected, and the type is set to LIHV. Over here you can see the voltage of the connected battery, and the voltage and the current of the USB port. Long pressing the right button is going to take us to the user setting. You can toggle between the options by pressing the left or right arrows and you can set the option by short pressing the type button. So first of all you can change the backlight, you can turn on and off the voice so you can see now it was turned off and now it's on. You can turn on and off the USB output, you can set the low voltage and I recommend that if you are using a 4S type of batteries to set it to 14 volts. This value goes all the way down to 6 volts and all the way up to 15 volts. So again, because I'm going to use it with 4S type of batteries, I'm going to set it to 14 volts. Finally, you can set the sleep time, which is in seconds. It goes all the way down to 10 or off, and all the way up to 240 seconds, which are four minutes. After this amount of seconds, the screen is going to be turned off, even though it's still going to charge the connected batteries. Long pressing the left arrow, is going to take us to this screen where you can set the batteries. Right now all the batteries are set to LHV and the current is set to 0.5 amperes. So if you'd like to connect for example uh, 400 milliampere to the first port, let's set it to LiPo. So we can say it like that. And I recommend to charge your batteries at 1C, so I'm going to set it to 0.4 amperes. And you can set this value between 0.1 ampere all the way up to 1 ampere. You can also set the type to LiLo, so this battery supports LiLo, LHV, and LiPo batteries. Just as a reminder, the terminal voltage per cell of LiPo batteries is 4.2 volts, and if you're going to set it to LHV, the terminal voltage is going to be 4.35 volts. In order to save your settings, long press the type button. Now the charger is set to charge 5 LHV batteries at 1 ampere. And as you can see, now the batteries are being charged. Now the batteries are fully charged. Let's check their voltage. The first battery was charged to 4.31 volts. The second one to 4.32 volts. The third one to 4.31 volts. The fourth one to 4.31 volts as well. And surprise, surprise, the fifth battery was charged to 4.31 volts as well. Now I'm charging four batteries using my adapter. And now the new batteries were charged to 4.33 volts and this battery which has been used before a couple of time was still charged to only 4.31 volts. Now my phone is being charged and I'm glad to tell you that it is being fast charged and you can see that the voltage is around 8.6 volts and it is being charged at 1.6 amperes. This phone however supports only 5 volts charging and it is charged at around 0.5 amperes. So overall priced at $16, I think that this charger will provide you with a good value for your money. The only downside however is that first of all, just like the UPS 4AC charger which I've recently reviewed, it does not support storage mode. And the second downside is that it does not support 2S type of batteries and hopefully your RV are going to release a new version that will support it in the near future. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about the UOV 16-in-1 Pro Charger, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. 
don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.